Hi guys and welcome to New Bible Study. Awesome that you're joining again and today we will study 1 Timothy 5 verse 18 for the scripture says do not muzzle the ox while it's treading out the grain and the worker deserves his weights. In this verse Paul reinforces the point made in the previous one that elders or overseers discussed who direct the affairs of the church well, partic particularly teaching and preaching, are worthy of double honor, meaning both respect as well as financial support. His use of the term scripture to include Jesus' words demonstrates that Jesus' words, are, as captured in Luke, were already beginning to be referenced as the inspired word of God. And second, the first quote is from Deuteronomy 25 verse 4 and points out that putting a muzzle on the ox prevents it from eating grain while it works. Although a small amount of grain is saved, the ox cannot replenish its strength while working, as it's more beneficial to the owner and ox for it to eat while it works this verse indicates it's both wise and fair to pay those who teach and preach in church so they can fully devote their time and energy to serving the congregation. And thirdly, Paul's use of the term scripture almost always meant the Old Testament. But the second quote, Jesus' words, are recorded in Luke 10 verses 7 and are similar to those in Matthew 10 verses 10 as Paul refers to both quotations as scripture. He is placing Luke's writing in the same category as the Old Testament, inspired scripture. This strongly supports the notion that the apostles knew and the church recognized they were writing God-inspired words. Brothers, this concept of muzzling the ox should give us pause. How else does the body of Christ inhibit its pastor, leaders, from doing its work to full capacity? When we think about how various members in the body of Christ fail to pull their weight and ignorantly believe that their tithe absolves them of their responsibility to use their skills and talents for God's kingdom, we see another way our pastors can become overburdened and their energy depleted needlessly. It must be very discouraging to see a church full of people that have no passion for investing their time and energy for the kingdom. Once again, James 2, 2 verses 17 comes to mind. In the same way, faith by itself, if it's not accompanied by action, is dead. By implication, we should realize that the unengaged believer is simply not answering God's calling on his or her life. Consequently, when all the parts of the body are not working as they should, the ones that are end up diverting from their tasks to cover down inefficiently on those of others. Instead of totally focusing on pastoral opportunities and responsibilities, pastors have to dedicate their time to managing coverage on essential tasks and fill gaps so that everything runs smoothly. That is good leadership, but it's an indicator that the congregation is not fully engaged in the smooth functioning of the church. May God bless you all.